Hello viewers, Super GT here. What is sportsmanship? I hope that we can find out over the course of this video. This was a rather interesting adventure here at Spa. It started off actually all not that interesting really, because this track has a bit of a problem with these rolling starts in that everything is so spread out. You can see the gaps already. I'm nearly three seconds behind the lead already and we've barely even started. So you have to kind of, for the first lap, just catch up with everyone and then you can battle for two laps. So it's quite frustrating to race. Now luckily I did manage just to stay in the slipstream of this guy, Disco Balls, quite interestingly named. So caught up with him. I'm in the Lexus RCF. I seem to be a very popular choice. So he's going to serve the penalty and I'm going to move up into second on this one. But coming up to the end of the race, lap three, there wasn't too much excitement really. The leader still, well, just over three seconds ahead. The gap didn't change too much from myself to the leader. But um, it was quite a boring race in terms of that respect. But the, the guy behind nearly came back at me coming into the final chicane, so just had to defend it. But ultimately quite a boring race. So we're going to cross the line in second okay not really much happening there at all going past the jaguar driver and finishing in second so i thought you know what let's uh, let's switch this up a little bit let's make things a little bit more interesting so i logged out logged out of super gt and we are going to head over to my third profile r4m alex albon there we go this this should be a little bit better because I am EB rated. I have well, the bottom rank essentially. So we're going to jump back in. And funnily enough, I don't have the ability to race online because I need to watch the updated 2019 sportsmanship videos. What is sportsmanship? And in addition to being fair and just, Sportsmanship also means that you don't do things that, that make you look bad. To avoid doing things to anyone that makes you look bad. That's the core idea behind sportsmanship that is beyond rules. Motorsport is called a non-contact sport. That means it is a sport which does absolutely not allow contact with others. 2. Various improper driving examples Edging out others, pushing others off the track 3. By not being able to stop within the track, ramming into other cars and ruining the race for others as well as yourself Hence with other drivers But by monitoring the other cars around you you will start to understand the tendencies of each car and driver as well as their skills Okay, so we've watched it. We're certified for online racing now. So hopefully I know all the techniques of getting out rocket launchers and, and blowing up my opponents. Let's see if we can use those new, new tactics and methods to good use here in our first online race as Alex Albon in a very low rated lobby. EB most of the players in here. So we're starting off right at the bottom. We're gonna see how this goes. Surrounded by people who don't have much sportsmanship. But then again, you know, you have to start somewhere. Okay, so already we're going to jump up a couple of positions. I've gone with the Aston Martin. Now, being Alex Albon, you have to be true to your manufacturer alliance allegiance in F1. So we've stuck with Aston Martin. We'll see how it goes. Although in the lower rated lobbies, your car doesn't matter as much. As we come down the hill, Ruo Rouge and Radion and we've got a McGann going very slowly I wasn't sure which way to go and I reacted just a little bit too late I wanted to go to the left and then actually smacked into the back of him so hopefully he doesn't take that one the wrong way although I gave him a nice little boost actually could have gone through there a little bit quicker but uh, well you learn experience is something you learn just after you need it so I suppose he knows now he can go a bit quicker through O Rouge and Radion but okay, we're, go, we're, go, we're gonna go past them. This guy's gonna go very deep. Tuck into the slipstream, pull out. So these, these races are really, they're actually really fun. I really enjoy doing these races. 
um, seal clubbing. I was reliably informed last time I did it. As we've got an Italian flying off into the right hand side, smacking himself into the wall. And uh, he's going to have to respawn himself and go again. Past the Porsche into Puon. And he just. Oh no, not quite gives the space. There is contact once, and I think another small bit of contact again as we come through. We're going to have the inside line here. And he's still very close, just looking at that radar. And um, you have to be, you have to have, really do have, it, have to have your wits about you in these in these lobbies. As um, I found that you need to just leave people a lot more space. There's uh, not as much awareness going on in these ones, so you do have to be careful. I'm saying he's a little bit slow there on the exit. We're going to go past him as uh, we head up into ninth place. Uh, lap two now, coming up the, the the straight. Hunt the front with the penalty, drop down up into eighth, then we go. Got a nice tasty looking group up ahead. Uh, someone with a penalty in fifth. Of course, aiming for the win is quite tricky when, of course, you're starting at the back because what we saw in the very first race of the video, the, the gaps are just so huge from from the front to the back because of the rolling start you're already about 15 seconds behind the leader immediately at the start of the race so it just really is important to qualify well but on this occasion I don't really care I'm just going it for the lols from the back past the Bugatti Veyron you don't see many people choosing that car in group 4 except for some circuits I think like Dragon Trail Seaside that car is quite popular but not round many tracks so the Aston Martin actually doing alright actually feels like a decent car in group 4 and we are now up to 7th position. So these um, these lower race lobbies, I've done a couple of videos on these before. And it was always, always good fun. It's always uh, interesting trying to pick your way through the groups. Um, because just the way that people drive is very different. You do have to, you do have to adapt slightly. Um, when, when you're side by side with people, I notice that they don't often realise that you're there. And sometimes if you're going into a corner and you leave the inside open, let's say you just take the normal racing line, they see that often as an invitation to just go for the overtake. They think that there's a space we must overtake, but um, often it's best just to wait for the right time to do it, as this Nissan goes a little bit too deep into the, into the chicane, and uh, the gap opens up. So the Mercedes is very wide as well. We're gonna go through up into fourth. That was a good lap. And we've got one to go setting the purple sector so he, uh, here I'm going to go to the outside and the Mercedes behind is just going to see the invitation <laughs> and uh, slam it up the inside not much not much space or quarter given on the exit so we come down the hill then for the, for the last time side by side with the Mercedes Nissan wants a piece of the action as well and we are just going to tuck in ahead get through a rouge flat out then we can tuck into the slipstream of the driver here who's about to serve a penalty so we should get past this person and he serves it right now just go past him just to make sure it doesn't come out of that ghost at the wrong moment slam into the back of him we don't want to do that of course okay so up into third seven and a half seconds away from second by the end of the lap got that gap down to about three and a half they were just there one more lap and maybe it would have happened but on this occasion i'm going to do something that albon couldn't do in f1 this year uh, courtesy of Hamilton I guess but got on the podium in the first race from the back it was good fun picking your way through and trying to preserve the sportsmanship rating not that I have a sportsmanship rating because I'm EB rated at the moment now I decided to be a massive traitor to the Red Bull Aston Martin family and head over to replace Bottas at Mercedes so we're going to jump into the SLS AMG now I haven't set a lap time, but I'm starting 10th this time, so quite a lot of the grid, pretty much half the grid there, has not set a lap time. But we, uh, we're we going to start 10th, not quite last, but as far back as I could be. Um, well, I can't really do anything about not being 16th. I don't actually know how they rate that, actually, to be honest. Eight of us didn't set a lap time, so I don't know who gets 8th and who gets 16th, and all the positions in between, but there you go. Immediately gaining one on the Ferrari. So Charles Leclerc getting done over at turn one. Now this is where things get a little bit interesting. So you can see here, they're side by side, the Lambo, and 
there's, there's just no sideways awareness a lot of the time. People turning across each other and, <laughs> and actually breaking away too much. This is the thing, you kind of got to be really careful with that. So it, it looks like a really aggressive move. It kind of was, I guess. As we go through, through there. Two penalties up ahead. So loads of penalties. Just trying to avoid that, of course. As uh, the Ferrari gets the run, as I got a really horrible run because of that BMW through Eau Rouge. And it's all kick kicking off here. I don't even know what the hell is going on. As uh, everyone just goes off the track, not really many people bothering with the tarmac, just taking off to the escape road. This guy with a nice two second penalty, just picking our way through quite simply on this one. As no one really knows how to drive um, that Lake Hume chicane on this occasion. Coming up behind a McLaren now. It's coming through. Um, it does have a name now, doesn't it? Jackie X Corner. Down the hill, McLaren versus Mercedes Power into Puon. Late on the brakes, and we get the move done. Tucking into the apex and then powering out through the second half of the corner. Fifth place on lap one. Still nine seconds, though, away from the leader. So we have to reel in at four and a half seconds a lap. Or probably a bit less than that, because we've still got about a third of this lap left to go. So this car is really nice and planted through those corners. And uh, coming down into Rivage on lap number two. So we've got a group here of three. And in fact, we're only five and a half seconds now behind the lead as a uh, Frenchman just gets plummeted into the wall. As uh, so we move up into fourth, two second penalty for the Italian up in second. And um, yeah, just too much fighting really. As I think um, people just, I think it's a lesson you learn as you play the game a lot more. You learn, okay, sometimes you do want to immediately beat the person right in front of you but sometimes you don't always have to go for the pass instantly or you know sometimes you can be patient and wait but I think in, in these lobbies people just going for the move instantly even if it's not the best time to do it even if the, you know the gap isn't there or the opportunity isn't as good as it could be uh, they're just rushing into a move but you know these are <laughs> people who are probably just starting the game so that's just the way it is you know you can't not everyone's going to be perfect straight away. Up uh, up towards Blanchemont, we're going past up the inside of the Jaguar. As we go through here, not always the best place to go for a move. And you see, I kind of turned in a little bit too early. Going to go wide on the exit as we come up into the uh, chicane. Four and a half seconds off, so we've actually gained that four and a half seconds on this lap. Uh, let's see if we can do that once more and potentially go for the victory here as we have one lap left to go. Now through the Lake Hume chicane, I really do like this little sequence here when you get it right especially. Um, it looks like the leader actually sorted himself out and actually started to drive pretty well. So I couldn't actually really catch up all that much. Gap down to two and a half, so still gained two seconds, but it's not gonna be enough. Just hold him off, or he just holds me off. It's gonna be a Mercedes 1-2. So grazzi ragazzi to the Mercedes boys. Get in there, Lewis. Um, Dietrich. Dietrich 2 must be Lewis Hamilton on his main account, I guess. As uh, we finish second, Mercedes 1 2, I am Bottas confirmed. We move over to Ferrari. Traitor once again. As um, we get rid of Vettel, that guy on the left just gives up completely. He wants no part of this. He just completely decides, you know what, this, this is just not worth doing. So he's just going to bail out early. Alfa Romeo does the same. Likewise, just thinks, you know what, I don't want to be part of this. I'm just going to smash myself into the wall. Okay, no worries. Gain two positions with zero effort into the first corner. This guy just pressured almost, I don't know. I said pressured into a mistake, but who knows? He probably didn't even know I was there. He might not have even really even been aware of my presence at all. He just made a mistake. So going through here, we've had this situation before. Massive overspeed going into the back of the SLS. Trying to give him a massive boost. Because I couldn't quite decide which side to go. Eventually went for the outside. Luckily I did get a penalty for going off the track and overtaking. We move up into 10th. Down the hill for this really difficult corner. You have to be really patient here. Lamborghini off is going to rejoin. Yes, nicely on the left hand side. That's actually a really solid rejoin from that guy. Not performing a total 90, which you often see trademarked. It's a signature move for most Forza players. Down the hill into Puon. Got a bit of deja vu here up against the uh, McLaren into Puon. Jaguar goes very, very wide. Moses 
making quite a strong appearance tonight, as uh, or today, as uh, everyone just parting the seas. And uh, Moses back at it once again. Porsche just gets washed to the wayside through the chicane, up into sixth place on lap one. We have a penalty here for someone who's doing a burnout to get away. As uh, we go up into fifth, into the slipstream then of the Renault. It looks like the top three are actually quite a long way ahead, so it's going to be difficult to try actually to get on the podium. Fourth place is about as good as it's going to be for this one. So through Blanchemont, tucking into that slipstream the best we possibly can. Up into the chicane, break on the 150. It's a late lunge. It's a very late lunge. Out of the way, mate. Just the Max Verstappen special. And there's contact through the second apex. As we rejoin, turns out that got him a four second penalty. GG, mate. Um, so his uh, sportsmanship is going to be going down. They should add sportsmanship ratings. It only goes down to like B or something. Well, no, it goes down to what? E? EE -E rating. Kevin Bacon with the EE -E rating. They should make it go down to Z, really. Just for the lols. Because I, I would not want to race in a Z Z lobby. It would be absolute mayhem. It would basically be like the sportsmanship video with all the explosions and nuclear missiles and getting launched. Okay, so going through here, this guy. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I'm not sure what's going on with Graham, but um, he seems quite keen on contact. But he, get, he has to serve his four second penalty there. So he drops right the way down. Uh, so yeah, four foot on, on that one, and we couldn't really progress too well, as the top three were actually pretty quick on, on that race. Okay, so one last one. I've become a traitor once again. I've jumped ship to Renault. So I'm trying to go through all the big four manufacturers in F1. And I've done McLaren, actually. I need to do McLaren as well, I suppose. I'll go back and remake this video. Right then, start at the back once again, of course, just for the bants and lols. Oh my god, Porsche goes way too deep into there. As I um, come down the hill, drag race between myself and the Mitsubishi. There should really only be one winner here. As the Mitsubishi, it might as well be a Group 5 car, it's that bad. As, uh, well, it's actually got decent handling. It's not like a billion miles off, it's a million miles off. So it's not as bad as you might think. Okay, so catching up with Panel Beta 41 in uh, the Lexus. And uh, gap's going to open up here on the left-hand side. And we're going to try and swing around the outside, as we do. Now, that move can work, swinging around the outside. Even if you leave a car whip on the inside, they don't always... Um, they can't always see it coming. So you do have to often leave more space for people in this uh, level of lobby. Uh, in order to preserve yourself and preserving yourself is often a good piece of advice as we come down the hill past the BMW I do love the M4 beautiful looking machine get the job done up into ninth place through the exit of Pluon very long corner and got a nice group of uh, four a, a loose group of four as um, one of them is called fatality so this doesn't bode well for my immediate future GG um, having a nice little spin and tumble through there. We go past him around the outside. Up into 8th place. So we've got the two Swiss drivers here. Now it's been a bit of a battle so far, but hopefully they're quite neutral. As we go past him quite easily. Fatality hopefully not coming back for revenge later on. Now, well, he actually does. Quite a late move <laughs> into the chicane. Side by side on the exit coming up into turn one then up against a Ferrari up in front Nissan just loses out behind there he is so looking for the hundred boards uh, breaking on that's pretty, pretty much where you want to break it you get a really good exit but the Nissan fatality coming out of nowhere and to be fair dive bomb off the Millennium has just been completed as a, it's not the fastest line but he got past me it was a great move three three wide down the hill this is not going to end well surely have the inside here, but then as we come through, there's contact, smacking into the barrier, and bloody hell, in smacking into the wall goes the Ferrari, and I know that, I mean, we can joke about this, but I would just like to say, uh, I don't want to be too inappropriate, of course, because we have had a fatality in F1, uh, no, not F1, uh, Formula 2 this year, Antoine Hubert was killed at that corner, so let's not forget that, of course, 
this uh, this sport that we love it can be dangerous of course in a game nothing can happen but um, let's not forget that drivers are dying it's, it's a dangerous sport as um, get a penalty here one second penalty um, work that one out it's kind of like a repeat of the, the move on lap one where you try and go around the outside and on this occasion it didn't work I didn't quite leave him enough space um, and we get the penalty down the hill try to <laughs> fit my way through past the Bugatti the B Bugatti big boy and uh, the Lexus that was there and we managed to get past them eventually BMW very slow off the exit of Puon and we get past up into 8th so this race was never going to go quite as well especially when you're visiting the barrier twice doesn't always help does it ok so we're going to have to serve our one second penalty but 6th place is in sight and our Swiss friend Fatality is currently the holder of it so we're going to try to overhaul him and take that back as uh, Gigi not quite uh, getting acquainted with the spa circuit and you go quite slow through here and we go past him on the exit down the hill on the brakes on the curb basically on the left hand side brake right on the end of that and that's the one advice I'd give if you're just starting out uh, just really try and rehearse your braking points so you know exactly where to brake you know, around spa is actually quite easy a lot of the corners there's just curbs that start and then you brake on the start of the curb there's a black box on the right hand side there and you can turn in on that so there's lots of little markers that you can turn in on brake on I'm going to go for a gap that exists Senna would be proud of that one there's only about half a car width but if it's a gap and it exists then you've got to go for it now it's going to be a sixth place obviously so therefore we can confirm that this is indeed a super gt video but that is the end of it i do hope you've enjoyed it let me know your thoughts and if you're new to the channel maybe consider subscribing whack a like if you did enjoy and i shall see you next time have a nice day goodbye